What's going on guys, my name's DJ, I'm 28. I'm a personal trainer in Anaheim, California. Um, basically, the way I grew up, uh, I was Catholic my whole life. So my parents, always Catholic. Uh, we would always go to church every Sunday. So I remember um, never really feeling like I had a relationship with God growing up. And how I kind of got saved was kind of weird. Like, I started dating this girl that was Christian. So at the time I was still Catholic. So I just remember like we would have like conversations about like God sometimes and like what she believed, like what the Bible said and all that. And I remember one conversation we had that was like, um, she was talking to me about the rapture. So at that point, like I didn't know anything about God. Like I had done my like confirmation, like I was baptized, but I literally had no relationship with God. So that conversation kind of like opened my eyes as far as like, really, like that's really true. Like I, I didn't even know about that. So it was kind of weird, like, we didn't really date much longer after that. Like we just decided to become friends. But just like those few times that we would talk about that was enough to like get it inside my head as far as like kind of questioning like what's really true as far as like what I kind of learned from being Catholic and like what she believed. So I remember just like seeking, trying to seek answers for like the next couple years after that. And um, I remember um, one of my friends used to go to uh, Calvary Chapel in West Grove. So I asked him one day, like, hey, like, do you still go? Like, um, are you gonna go this Sunday? And he told me he was. So I was kind of like debating on going because I felt like if I went there, it would kind of be like I'm betraying like being Catholic. So I kind of, um, I remember asking a priest about it at the Catholic church. And they were like, like I was telling him like, it would be bad if I go there also. And he just said, um, what did he say? He's like, no, nah, you can go. But as long as you still keep coming here, then like, you can still go over there. And like not even that made sense to me, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go, like, see how it is. I remember um, like the service, like even when the service started, I was still kind of questioning it, like, what am I doing here? Like, does this even like make sense to me? I just remember feeling like peace and like just like a weird feeling inside, like where I was at, like God was there, and then that's kind of when I knew like what was really the truth and like stuff like that. But like that day, that service, like God really spoke to my heart. So I just remember like at the end, he was pretty much saying like, um, like if anyone wanted to give their life to Jesus, like go ahead and stand up. And I just remember like feeling like God was like knocking on my door that day. So I just remember standing up and like, that was pretty much it for me right there. For the first time, I actually feel like it's not up to me. That's pretty much how I felt my whole life. Like I have to be the one to like take care of things, I have problems, like I gotta fix it. And it was always frustrating when I couldn't do that since obviously like now I just put my trust in God. Like he gives me peace about it. Like whatever happens, like I know he loves me and he's looking out for me. So it's just been great after that now.